Hey everyone, this is Varun Mahotra here. Today I am doing a breakdown of Tynan Dapro vs Alex Muniz at the 2019 Europeans. Um, so, a little preview of this match, uh, as I've done so far. Uh, Tynan is a very well-rounded jiu-jitsu guy. Um, he's, he likes to play both top and bottom, and he like he, he's often unpredictable in what he's going to use in comp. It's usually depending on the opponent. Um, on bottom, he likes to use a lot of waiter sweeps, and also, uh, and he likes to transition to X guard from there. And he also uh, likes to go for bowlers from there. Alex Muniz is also pretty well rounded, but he's more of a top player, and he likes to uh, tariando and throw by a lot, and will also like throw in knee slides occasionally. I've actually rolled with him at Euros, and one thing that takes you by surprise is his athleticism when he does all of his movements, and he's really good at gauging distance whenever he's doing his around passes. Um, so at the start of the match, we got to see what the goals of each athlete are. So they both like to do a gripped pull, so they both like get, grab the collar and the sleeve, okay, instead of pulling from a distance much like the lighter guys do, as they're both middleweights. Um, they're simply, uh, Alex is looking to pull, uh, double pull and come up, and Tynan is a little bit unpredictable here, so he might want to just stay playing guard, or he might want to come up and pass. Um, uh, but he's most likely going to want to stay on bottom because his guard style is a natural counter to Alex's passing, as we're going to discuss. So we're actually going to be watching this match in uh, in half speed because just everything happens super quickly over here, as you're going to see in a second. Uh, yeah, so that's just gonna, we're still going to do the replays and everything. It's just going to help us break it down further. So they start the match, and we're going to see them uh, kind of uh, they touch hands, and they're going to start gauging their distance. And um, you're going to see straight away, whenever they both go for their pull, they're both going to kind of butt heads because they both like to do the same kind of pull where they grip up and then fall to their back. And um, you see, uh, Alex tries to reset a little bit, but Tynan was really smart in that moment to just go straight and capitalize uh, on the pull. So we're going to take a replay of that. And um, uh, uh, Tynan, when he gets that clean pull, he puts both his feet past the hips, which stops any kind of uh, toriando or throw by. As Alex gets his base, Tynan makes a, a good decision to start going for his underhook Delaheva series. This was the defining moment in the match because um, uh, the underhook stops all movement passes and Alex can't explosively get his legs back to Tariando or throw by. To make the position worse for Alex, Tynan also gets inside position with his right leg which is also another way to slow down movement passes. Uh, to, uh, to make Alex drop to his left knee, Tynan starts bringing his weight to his right for a way to sweep. Normally guys push with their collar grip, but he doesn't in this case. We see Alex bringing his attention uh, with his right hand to Tynan's left shin, but um, that isn't the best thing to do in this scenario. The best thing is to control the sleeve that Tynan is using to grab the pants. And to put his weight on, and for Alex to put his weight onto his right foot, so he can start shin sliding, as you're gonna see in these clips. We see that Tynan has progressed his knee grip to the drawstring grip, which helps him start his bowler sequence. He also uses his right foot as a reverse delahiva hook to help him spin all the way through and get his head behind Alex's hips. Another thing that's important to point out is that Alex has his hips on the floor because if he didn't have that and stayed on his knee then he would be given off a baby bowler. But because he has his hips on the floor he gives a baron bowler instead. We see Tynan over here throwing his knee past Alex's midline which makes the bowler tighter. He also does another thing where he triangles his legs. There's a trade off to this though, okay. What it does really well is trap the knee. But the other, but the trade off that you get the the down part is that your opponent can hop over into reverse half guard. The other variation is where you stomp both your feet down to the mat. That's really good for keeping a solid position and not risking them going to reverse half guard. But you also risk losing the knee line, which forces you to go to crab ride. As we see Tynan progress to a drawstring grip, we see him actually make a mistake as he pushes on the grip instead of pulling it in, because the whole point of a bowler is to eliminate space and not create it. By pushing on the drawstring, this allows Alex to try to get his hip to the mat, and this forces Tynan to re -bolo. But notice when Tynan goes to re -bolo, he throws his, his left knee to the outside of uh, Alex's hip, and that's what allows him to se secure the position, because then there's no more going over into reverse half guard anymore, and he's trapped both the hips. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Tynan for the rest of the match just kind of holds him in back control, 
And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, both of these guys are really, really fun to watch, and you, know, you should look out for them. Definitely going to be like very heavy hitters in the black belt divisions. Uh, you should go follow both of them and support them on their social media. Uh, I got their uh, Instagrams in my description. For me personally, I'm also selling online private, so I can help you progress during this quarantine time while you don't really have access to a gym. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Share it with your friends if you liked it. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want there. Um, uh, I'll really help, and it would, it would really help me, and it'll help. Uh, it'll help your teammates as well. It'll help all your friends. It'll uh, like it'll help progress their jujitsu by watching these kind of breakdowns and seeing how kind of high level guys think and like actually do jujitsu. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Let it be all chill. Have a good one. Goodbye.